going to be discussing stockpiling tall fescue. Uh, tall fescue can sometimes get a bit of a bad reputation because of the fescue toxicosis issues that we run to, into, especially during the summer months. But it's a cool season grass, and we have a lot of it in the state. And so one of the things that we can do is utilize that cool season grass to, to our advantage through stockpiling. So when we want to stockpile a, a tall fescue field, we want to pull the cattle off of there around mid, early to mid-August, which we have done in this particular pasture. We have then gone ahead and sprayed a nitrogen fertilizer on this pasture. And now we're simply waiting. Um, so this grass is going to continue to grow for us as we hit these cooler temperatures coming into early fall. And hopefully we should have a nice stand of, of grass that we can turn cattle back out on into late November, early December. And that really cuts down on the number of days that we're having to feed a stored uh, feed to our cattle. In order to be efficient with stockpile grazing, uh, we want to make sure that we, we graze it pretty heavily so we don't get a lot of losses uh, due to trampling. Uh, one common method to graze cattle on stockpiled forages is to uh, do strip grazing. And so, again, one of the advantages, not only are we not having to feed a stored feed, we're not having to get on the tractor and move hay out here to our cattle, um, but actually the research shows that stockpiled forages have a higher nutritive value compared to hay forages of the same type. Um, so tall fescue that's been stockpiled is going to be, have a better quality typically than a tall fescue hay. So it's going to have more energy and protein, which makes this a really ideal practice for our fall calving cows. So they've gone ahead and they've calved. Now they're lactating and they are in their um, highest time of, of energy and protein demand. And so by moving them out here onto the stockpile uh, fescue, we actually can get by uh, with less supplementation than if we were going to be feeding them a fescue hay. Uh, stockpiled forages can also be utilized in spring calving operations, especially if we've got some cows that are a little bit thin uh, going into the winter. It's a good way to get some condition back on those cows. Um, otherwise, if we've got spring calving cows that are in good body condition, we're actually probably providing them a little too much energy and protein um, than what they need, but we may be able to turn out some wean calves, some stock or background or calves on this ground as well. Uh, so it's a really versatile practice that uh, can benefit a lot of different operations. And so um, I encourage you to, to look into stockpiling fescue if it's not something you've done before. Uh, check out the information below if you want to do a little bit further reading. Thanks for joining us today on Beef Minute.